hours before he coils himself into the starting blocks, a time when many sprinters would be fraught with nerves and tension, lets Isle Thibault go find solace in the soundtracks of home. Most of the time, I just listen to music, traditional songs from here in Botswana because they remind me of my roots and where I come from, says Tebogo. It's much easier for me to relax that way. That pre-race ritual appears to serve him well. Even in full flight on an athletics track, the 19-year-old is a picture of composure, his long, floating stride and easy running form guiding him to record times on the junior circuit. Tebogo twice broke the under-20 world record for 100 meters earlier this year, first with his time of 9.94 seconds at the World Championships. Then a few weeks later when he ran 9.91 seconds at the U-20 World Championships. His first record was officially confirmed by World Athletics on September 20th, while his second time is still pending ratification. Among the secrets to both performances, Tebogo says, was an ability to put aside any lingering anxieties before stepping onto the track. Mental strength is very important, he tells CNN Sport. You just need to come with a free mind and enjoy the race because, once you have stress, you cannot run the perfect race you and your coach planned. You need to come free-minded. Remove everything that's on your mind that's going to be disturbing you on the blocks or when you're doing your warm-up. Tebogo's statement performance at this year's U-20 World Championships in Cali, Colombia established him as one of the most exciting prospects in track and field, not only because of the ease with which he appeared to pull away from the other competitors, but also because of his premature celebrations 30 meters from the finish line. As he gestured to his right side and wagged his finger in delight, Tebogo suddenly became the talk of the athletics world. I just decided to do that in the moment when I was running, he says. I wanted it to be a memorable race for me as I leave the juniors. I didn't mean to disrespect anyone on the track. You have to do something for those who are staying up at night to watch you, something to talk about tomorrow or in the near future. The celebration sparked comparisons to the great Usain Bolt, who, full of confidence and bravado, would grin and spread his arms before crossing the finish line, even while setting world records. The Jamaican's legacy still looms large over athletics, meaning onlookers are often quick to label an emerging sprint star as his predecessor. But Tebogo admits he hasn't even thought about breaking his idol's world records, 9.58 for 100 meters and 19.19 for 200 meters. The young sprinter is hopeful the two can meet in the future, perhaps at next year's World Championships in Budapest, Hungary, but for now, he can be reassured by the fact that Bolt has watched him race and acknowledged it on Twitter. His times are very fast, says Tebogo. It requires that one should be mentally strong and everything should be in top shape. Everything should be top notch. Tebogo has yet to decide whether he will focus more on the 100 meters or 200 meters in the future. He is planning to start at the University of Oregon basing his training outside of Botswana for the first time in March and will also make the step up from junior to senior racing next year. What I've noticed is that for the juniors, when they see me, they are intimidated by me. But with the seniors, it's the other way around. They are the ones who are intimidating me he says. But with time, I guess I'll be cool and coming up very well with them. Thank you very much for tuning into Sports Circle 3, 4, 5 Sports News and please remember to subscribe and thumbs up the video on your way out.